Hello, fellow recruiters and talent seekers. It's Justin Fraction with Technology Advice. Today, I'll be exploring the world of recruiting passive candidates. It's a topic that can be as challenging as it is rewarding, almost as rewarding as telling a bad joke and actually getting a laugh. For example, why did the passive candidate bring a ladder to the interview? Because they wanted to reach new heights in their career. So whether you're a seasoned recruiter or just starting out, I've got some valuable tips and tricks on how to successfully recruit passive candidates. So let's jump right in and explore the strategies that can help you expand your talent pool. Passive job candidate is someone who has in-demand skills, is currently employed, not actively looking for a job, but is open to new opportunities. Recruiters generally have to initiate contact with the passive candidate and persuade them to switch jobs, while active candidates are people who are actively seeking and applying for jobs. Recruiters are more likely to ignore passive candidates, but there are actually three simple reasons why they shouldn't. One, they have limited competition. Two, recruiters have the ability to vet candidates proactively. And three, they have high quality talent. Some of the benefits of hiring a passive candidate include building an external talent pipeline, reducing time to hire by skipping steps that filter unqualified candidates, and vetting candidate skills ahead of time. Okay, here's another bad joke I've been working on. What do passive candidates and ninjas have in common? They're both experts at staying hidden until the right moment. All right, back to the challenges. In the world of recruiting, many organizations face similar struggles when it comes to recruiting passive talent. Some of those challenges include extensive time, effort, and thoughtful communication, lower return on investment, and the risk of damaging the employer's brand if communications are handled poorly. When sourcing passive candidates, the goal is to build a relationship and organically persuade them to consider a career within your organization. To do this, recruiters should use a combination of tools like social media and email marketing campaigns, applicant tracking system and HR tools, AI recruiting tools, employee referral programs, and in-person conferences and events. Well, that wraps up strategies that can help you expand your passive talent pool. But before I go, I want to leave you with three more recruiting tips. One, deliver value with each interaction. Two, keep messages focused and brief. And three, respect communication boundaries. If you would like to know what tips and tricks didn't make it into this video, head over to this link to read the original article. And if you enjoyed this video, give us a like and subscribe so we can make more videos like this. And because you stuck around until the end, I have one last joke. Why did the passive candidate bring a map to the interview? Because they heard it was a career path discussion. Until next time, we'll see you guys.